Sports Video Group is at the 2016 NAB Show. Brandon Costa reporting for SVG. We just got finished with the Sony press conference here on Sunday. And we're joined by Dion LaCointe, Senior Manager of Sports and IP. Dion, just came off the stage. Great job up there. Thank you, Good Brandon. Appreciate it. Good to see you, man. Uh, huge announcement that you guys made back here last year at NAB. You introduced the 4300, and yeah. it really took the sports community by storm. Yeah. Why don't you tell us a little bit about this uh, pretty little guy back here? Sure, yeah. So like you said, the HTC 4300, when we introduced it last year, we had no idea that it would take the industry by storm. It's kind of become the new de facto standard for high-end live production and high frame rate acquisition, both in 4K and in HD. It's, it's actually just been stunning, even to us, the success that that camera has had. Yeah. To follow that introduction, we're now introducing the HDC 4800, which is a brand new ultra high frame rate camera that can do up to eight times 4K. So that's up to 960 frames per second in 4K. Wait a minute, no, that's up to 480 frames per second in 4K <laughs> and 960 frames per second in HD. So really a powerful tool that can be used for sports production across the world. We, we think that this is really gonna help to change the landscape for sports production. And a huge benefit is that it uses the same features, the same connections, and the same accessories that sports producers utilize now with their existing HDC 4300 or even 2500 cameras. So it blends right into the workflow. That's awesome. Fascinating stuff. Uh, you guys also made a couple of big announcements as far as IP. Uh, you jo announced uh, joining Ames, yes. some integration with Grass Valley. Yes. Uh, why don't you get into you know how you guys have really taken IP head on, especially sure. at this year's show? Sure. A, a, a lot of exciting news there. Exactly right. We. We introduced that Grass Valley, and we're very happy to announce that they're joining the Sony IP Live Alliance, so they will be natively supporting the Sony network media interface technology. Uh, we did also join Ames, and the overall message there is that we want to give end users and our customers the confidence that if they buy Sony technology today that is IP ready, that we will be able to integrate and support any standardized IP technology in the future. We know it's still a little bit of the wild, wild west out there as it relates to IP, but we want to give them that confidence. So our switchers, our cameras, our production servers all have the IP technology built in. So NMI is natively supported, but we also support Aspen. We support 2022-6. And whatever the outcome of the Ames Alliance is, whatever that format will be, we'll support that as well. Well, in that IP environment, how does that affect how your products as a whole are, are evolving to compensate for all of this? Pretty significantly. So now we have on the market the BPU 4500 and now the BPU 4800, which is the accompanying product for the HDC 4800. Both of those systems are IP enabled. We're also introducing the HDCU 4300, which is a, an IP enabled CCU product for the cameras as well. Our PWS 4500 server comes ready to support both 4K and IP as an option. And our, we br launched a brand new lineup of switchers called XVS series. There's an XVS 8000, XVS 7000 and a 6000, and each of those switchers are capable of handling 4K without any sacrifices. The XVS 8000, for example, can handle up to 40 4K inputs, 12 4K outputs. Those can be SDI, they can be NMI, and you don't sacrifice anything. You have five full MEs, eight keyers per ME. We built the products from the ground up with IP in mind and with performance in mind. Deanne, well, really appreciate you taking a couple minutes and a busy week, and good luck with everything this sure. week in Vegas, all right? Thank you very much, Brandon, and have a great one, guys. Enjoy the show. For more of Sports Video Group's coverage of the 2016 NAB show, you can rate our blog and visit us online at sportsvideo.org.